वॉरेंट्स आर द सिक्योरिटीज डेट गिव राइट नॉट द ऑब्लिगेशन टू द होल्डर टू बाय सर्टन नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स ऑफ कॉमन स्टॉक डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द इशुइंग कंपनी एट अ फिक्स प्राइस फॉर अ सर्टन और गिवन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ईच फॉरन स्पेसिफाइज थ्री थिंग्स द नंबर ऑफ शेयर्स द होल्डर कैन बाय the exercise price and the expiration date warrants are similar to call options the relationship between the value of a warrant and its stock price is similar to the value of a call option and the stock price the warrants are also issued with publicly distributed bonds and new shares of common stocks warrants might have a higher amount of maturity period even infinity uh, life on the screen we can see a diagram that is showing the upper and lower value of warrants to a, a pair of two vertically upward sloping lines the value of a warrant lies between these two particular lines we see a red dotted line from below to upward within these two parallel upward sloping lines and this line can be uh, explained in a way that the higher of the warrant price above the lower limit depends on certain things like variance of the underlying stock returns time to expiration date risk free rate of interest stock price and the exercise price let's see what is the difference between a uh, warrants and call options call options are issued by individuals whereas warrants are generally issued by corporations a warrant when exercised allows the firm to issue new shares of common stock and and this increases the number of outstanding shares of this particular firm whereas exercising a call option does not affect the outstanding number of shares of the firm the exercising of a call option allows one investor to gain whereas other investor to lose the exercising a call option does not flow any type of funds to the firms let's see an example how warrant affect the firm value we have two partners a uh, gold and rockefeller who have formed a company incorporating with two stock certificates so each of them is holding a one certificate as a proof of ownership in the firm they bought 6 ounces of platinum for $3000 uh, this means that each ounce of this platinum is cost to the firm at $500 each person contributing one half of Three thousand dollars. So each certificate hold uh, held by an individual is re representing his one half claim to the platinum. Now we assume that platinum is the only asset of this newly formed company. If a call is issued instead of a warrant, then how the firm value will be affected? Uh, if let's say that the gold sells to another investor named as fiski a call option issued a uh, issued on his own share so this call option will give fiski the right to buy gold's share for 18 dollar within the next year now if the price of the platinum rises above 600 dollars per ounce this means that the company will worth more than uh, Thirty six hundred dollars. So the share will also worth over eighteen hundred dollars. And if Fiski decides to exercise his option under this call, then the gold must sell his share to Fiski at eight hundred dollars. The effect of this exercise of the call option on the company will be that the number of shares will remain the same. on lead the fiski will be replacing the 
holds ownership in the firm the company's new owner will be fisky instead of the holds the price of the platinum if rises to $7 per ounce the fisky's gain will be $300 in this particular case and if the warrant is issued to the uh, by the firm in case of a call option then let's see what will be the price of the firm if golds does not sell a call option rather uh, the company in a general meeting of the two partners decides to issue and sell warrant to fisky then it will be a right to receive a share of the company at an exercise price of $1800 then we see that miss fisky's or fisky's a uh, perspective on the warrant will be in the sense that it is still a call option the exercise price of this warrant and call are the this call a warrant and the call are the same and that is $1800 as we have seen in our earlier example the uh, useful for Fis fisky is to exercise this warrant only when the price of the platinum exceed 30 $600 per ounce and if there is the case then let's see the effect of exercise of this warrant on the company there will be a, an issuance of one new share to the fisky by the firm so the ownership will changes now there are three part part uh, three members or owners in this particular company and if price of the platinum rises to $700 per ounce the fisky's gain will be equal to $200 so we see that fisky gain fisky's gain under call is $300 per ounce whereas under warrant it is $200 now there is a decline in fisky's gain of $100 per share and that decline is uh, termed as a dilution and this dilution is due to the effect that the number of shares has been increased whereas the profit has been remained the uh, same in total so individually there is a decline of hundred dollars per share this is the dilutive effect of issuing a warrant by the firm on its own common stock